uh, relationship uh, with the Guggenheim Bilbao uh, Museum, uh, for me, is really uh, the epitome of a relationship that an artist can have uh, with an institution. It's one that's uh, developed over many years. It's had many layers. When people uh, speak about the art world and they speak about values, uh, the real value of the art world, it's, uh, we're an example just sitting here in front of you. Uh, art has a tremendous power to bring people together and discuss issues in life that are really important to all of us, and it brings people together. But I have to say that uh, some of the works have never looked more elegant uh, than the installation here in uh, Bilbao. Uh, you know, Frank Gehry, Frank's a fantastic friend, an amazing architect, one of the greatest architects the, the world has known. But uh, I always thought, oh, this is going to be a little difficult because, you know, this is really about the joy of architecture and what uh, uh, space can be. But this elegance that my work has, I've never seen the scale of my works function in a generosity of the building more than what I've experienced here today. <clears throat> if I look at Puppy outside, I, I hope that the public feels like they're participating in a Dionysian festival. And I hope that there are hints of that when you go through the exhibition. I hope you feel Apollo's presence too. But I, the, what I've tried to accomplish with my work is to have a, a dialogue about internal life and the external world and how from the comprehension of this dialogue, how we can enrich our lives, how we can all participate in transcendence and that we can understand the freedom of gesture that each and every one of us has at every moment in our lives. And I'm so grateful to the, uh, the Guggenheim Bilbao Museum for giving me this opportunity to have what I think is really a, a stunning uh, installation of my work. Thank you.